Hi, I'm Siobhan Byrne and welcome to your VHI Women's Mini Marathon Training Plan. Today we're going to demonstrate 12 exercises that you can be doing as part of your training plan over the next four weeks. Now your training plan will appear every Monday in the Irish Independence Health and Living magazine, on independent.ie and on the VHI Women's Mini Marathon Training app. Each week we will introduce three new strength training exercises to complement your running plan. So let's get started. So Maya is going to demonstrate the side lunge chop exercise. This exercise is brilliant for working really the quads, a bit of hamstrings, a bit of calves, a little bit of glutes and also the obliques as well. And you'll see that in the chop motion. So she's going to start by hands clasped above her head, okay? And taking a good wide step out to the side for the lunge. See the chop that's coming in there to help work the obliques as well. And then coming to the opposite side as well, Maya. What we want to make sure is that the knee is not coming beyond the toes in this exercise. Great. Now we have a squat jump. I love this movement because I like any movement for running that actually throws in a plyometric jump into the mix. So great exercise again for legs. And what we're going to do is going to show you the exercise now. Maya is going to squat down and then coming up, jumping up. You see your hands can be either down by your side or on your hips. Perfect. And rest. So now Maya is going to demonstrate the lying superman exercise, a brilliant exercise for lower back and especially when you're running as well because the back can get quite tight. So Maya's got her arms stretched out, feet just about shoulder width apart, hip width apart, whatever feels comfortable. And what she's going to do is at the same time bring her arms up and bring the legs up at the same time, really working the back muscles. Good. Good and just breathe normally throughout. So next up we have some close stance deep squats, another great exercise to really work the legs. There's a couple of important things that you need to remember in this exercise. Firstly, we don't want the knees to come beyond the shoelaces or the top of the shoes at the most. That's very important. And the second thing is if you look straight ahead, so don't allow the body to lean forward, that's also great. A lot of people have a habit of over leaning forward on this exercise. So Maya's going to demonstrate now. And in the exercise, she's going to raise her arms straight up as she comes down into that deep squat. And that's actually going to balance her out very nicely. Perfect. So next up, we have the side plank exercise and brilliant exercise for running because it really focuses in on core strength and also your obliques. So on this exercise, a lot of people do this wrong because they have the elbow far too far forward here and it should be directly underneath the shoulder. So as Maya comes into the exercise, straight up, you can see the core nice and tight, keep a nice straight line in the body, holding for about 15 to 20 seconds before returning over to the other side. So next up we have a lunge exercise that Maya is going to demonstrate. Another brilliant exercise for running, core strength, really works the legs as well. You want to make sure you're keeping your body in a nice upright positioning, looking straight ahead and then keeping the torso nice and tight as well. We're going to go step forward into lunge, returning back by pushing through the front heel and alternating the leg. Now you'll see this from Maya that her knee is in a perfect positioning, not going beyond the shoelaces as she keeps the body in a nice upright position. Perfect. Time now for a little bit of abs. So we've got the V up exercise that Maya is going to demonstrate. Basically her hands, she's leaning back on her hands, her feet flat on the floor, knees bent, tummy nice and tight, and her hands are about shoulder width apart there at the back. And basically she's going to go straight into a V up to work the abs and coming, extending the legs out and back at the same time in a nice easy motion. Next up we've got the crunch and reach exercise again concentrating quite a lot on abs and what we have is Maya flat on the ground her knees bent her feet flat on the floor feet about shoulder width apart and her hands on top of her thighs there just at the quads. As Maya crunches up she's going to crunch up and try and come up over the knee Maya's got great um, movement there in her crunch and you try and get up as far as you can at home. And remember, keep focused on straight ahead of you so you don't have any jerking motion in the neck. That's perfect there for Maya and rest. 
So the next exercise we have today is flutter kicks, a great exercise to really help work your lower abs. So if you can see Maya's lying flat on her back, her feet are about hip width apart and her hands, rather than being straight down by her side, they're just slightly tucked under her body. This is really going to help support her lower back in this exercise, but will also help is if she raises her shoulders off the ground. This takes the pressure off the lower back but actually makes the exercise quite tough. Start with one leg raised and then alternating but never dropping back down towards the floor. And a little bit faster than that. Perfect. So the next exercise we have for you today is a squat. And Maya started there with her feet and shoulder width apart and looking straight ahead, so keeping the body nice and straight. It's important with this exercise not to lean forward. So remember to sit back and down throughout the course of the exercise. And you can see Maya's arms are raising up here. This is another part of this movement that you can actually add in as well, which just helps to keep you balanced and nice and upright throughout the exercise. Remember, knees, Mustn't go beyond the shoes, at the top of the shoes, at the very most, which is good positioning, perfect. So this exercise that we have today is a crossover push-up and we've gone to the advanced uh, version which Maya is on her toes. If you want to take the easier version, it's on your knees, but for today it's going to be on her toes. Nice strong back, keep a nice straight line, keep the tummy nice and tight as Maya is going to cross over after the push-up, perfect, and back to push-up position again, crossing back over and back to push up, keeping the hips nice and steady, not too much rocking throughout the exercise. Great for core and chest and shoulders and even a little bit of triceps put in there, perfect. Next exercise today we have is floor dips. As you can see Maya is leaning back onto her hands. Her hands are, her arms and hands are about shoulder width apart and her hands are facing slightly in underneath the shoulders there you can see. And this exercise is great for back of the arms really to hit the triceps. So she's just going to bridge her body up onto her heels there and dip down bending the elbows and bringing the body towards the floor keeping tummy nice and tight and really working the back of the arms there. So those are the exercises. What I want you to bear in mind over the next few weeks is the importance of you actually consistently doing your training plan. So don't miss sessions as it's very hard to keep up on your training if you do. We're going to be constantly changing up your strength training exercises so that you will find they're more tough as you get on. Best of luck guys.